going. Um, hello everyone. Hi everybody, my name is Georgia and you are watching Ballerina Badass. And I wanted to show you all my tennis ball routine. Oh, getting stuck to something, that's my tennis ball routine. This is something that I have been incorporating into my nighttime stretching because I have been focusing on releasing the tension that I have built up in my shoulder area and neck area and it's something that is very important for me um, for improving my turns and everything actually I didn't realize that the tension we hold up here actually creates more tension down here so if you want more flexibility in your legs it's not just about doing lots of splits and stretching your leg over your head and all these other things which I can do but it also is about releasing the tension in here and strengthening your core muscles so for this video I wanted to show you all my personal tennis ball routine now as always be sure to check with your teacher your doctor your guru whoever and make sure that this is the right thing for you for me this is just to share with you all what I like to do to help release the knots in my back and I tend to do this at night right before I go to bed. Sometimes I do it before class, but because I'm releasing this tension, it's been recommended to me to do it right before going to sleep because then your body has time to really continue to release and relax versus doing it and then going right into class and potentially, you know, tighten it back up again. The slower you go, the better it works. So the longer you can release, uh, the longer you can relax on the balls, the better. Um, so I'll just show you all some of the things I do. Uh, I recommend putting your hair up in a ponytail. There are other balls you can use also. Um, some people, oh, I should show you some of my other ones. I have, hello, are you in here? You're not in here. Okay, hold on. Wait, are you? No. Erg. Hello. Aha. <clears throat> okay, so um, this is another kind of ball you can use. It's squishy and it's smaller. And then this is another one, a Mikasa ball, and this one's much bigger, obviously. So you need to find the right, um, what's the word, resistance and size that works for your body. Some people can't handle the tennis ball. For me, my knots are so strong and I like, I like the feeling of pain, um, good pain. <laughs> so for me, this works. So I lay down. And then, okay, you want to make sure you have room for your arm to go all the way back, front, open side, and cross without hitting anything like a sofa. So, put the ball right here under the trapezius. No matter what, you don't want it to be on the bone. So it's always between the shoulder blade and the spinal column um, in the muscle area. Sometimes you just have to feel it out. So I like to start right about here. That's nice. Oh. Now, even just right now, taking a deep breath in. letting it out and then I use imagery uh, and I will imagine my neck releasing and lengthening this way Whew. and then I'll imagine this muscle area this part of my body is actually just releasing and melting over the ball and melting into the ground so I'm gonna do that again on the breath Now, I'm going to take this arm, my left arm, and very slowly start from down here. And sometimes I'll think about my intention is the, the, the movement starts from my fingertips. And try it that way. And move up very slowly. Oh, and see, even then, and I keep thinking release. Let the shoulder blade fall back into the socket. And it's interesting to note, as I do this, other parts of my body will clench a little bit like the tension's moving around and 
Try not to judge that. Just notice it. Notice what parts of your body react to this work. Ooh, boom, boom, boom. I just felt a couple knots go brr. Wow. I'll go back. And sometimes when I find a knot, I will go even slower. Just let the natural weight of my arm roll over the tennis ball. It's funny, just talking with you on, on this video, I can feel tension in my jaw. So, focus on releasing that. Now I'm going to bring the arm up again slowly. Sometimes I'll think of the intention, instead of starting from my fingertips, I'll actually think of my shoulder like a wheel. It's releasing and relaxing back, and that is what causes the arm to go up. Just playing with different images. Play with this. It's an exploration process. At least it is for me. And I love to explore and see what works, what doesn't. If you feel pain that scares you, back off from it immediately. Using the word force does not work for me. Um, you know, I'm going to force myself to do this. I'm going to force myself into the position. I'm going to, you know, that doesn't work. Using the force in Star Wars, that's different. But for me, as far as dance goes, to force myself to do something, mm -mm. not in this context at least. Allow. That word works really well for me. And you will find the words that work for you that. Maybe force is a good word for you. I mean, it's not a bad word. It's always what it means to you. Aww. Ah. Ooh. Jojo. I'm reaching for Jojo. Okay, I just felt a little clench down in my um, lower spine. That's interesting. And then it released immediately. Oh. And as you're doing this and breathing, check in with yourself. Is there a part of your body that's clenching and you don't even realize it? Like my lower spine just then was slowly starting to clench and sometimes my knees start to clench. Or my thighs and I will just gently up, oh, see right there, it goes eh, like that. I just remind it to release and let go. Wow, wow. Ooh. So then what I will do, I will take this ball and I will move it to different parts. Oh, so like I can move it up a little bit to here or I can move it, if you can see, I will go down further. Once again, making sure it's not on the bone, it's between the, um, the shoulder blade and the spine. So now it's further underneath and that gives me a different oof, massage. Why? Who's a helper king? You are. So that's feeling a little bit funky in there, like a, a ball's putting pressure on a spot that doesn't feel good to me in any sense, not even that good pain, so I'm going to roll off of that really gently. Now what's fun to do at the end, after you've done this and you do both sides, it's interesting to lay there and just feel what's happening. How does it feel? Do you feel a difference? Um, do, do your arms move more easily? Is there more, you know, um, ease of motion in your neck? After I do this, I like to do a bit of a neck stretch. I'll pull my, feel like I'm pulling my head off of my spine. And then, and I've got the entire weight of my head in my hands. So my, I'm not holding my head up with my neck at all. It's all in my arms and my hands. And then other things I like to do sometimes, I do like to put the tennis ball on this meaty part of my arm that I carry a lot of tension in here. So I will gently roll. Oh. Mm. 
ball here, if you can see. Wow, let me get back on the purple mat a bit. So right here, when I find a spot that's kind of not, oh, oh, there we go, there's a knot. And the part that really gets me off is this next thing I will do. It's right here on the front of my arm. And I'm still learning all the names of these muscles. I'm not going to try and remember them today because I still have so much to learn. But it's helpful to learn what muscles go where and how they connect and how they work because all of your whole body, from what I'm learning, our whole bodies are really connected. It seems so obvious, but. I admit that I forgot that and that I, I, since I've discovered more information on how the body is connected, a lot more things are making sense in dance class for alignment. Oh, right there. Oh my gosh, right there. Incredible. Wow, okay, that's enough for me for this side. I'm going to do the other side, but that's it for this video. I hope that these uh, little bits of exercises are helpful to you, and I'm going to, did I already say, I'm gonna do the other side now, not on camera, but thank you all for watching as always. If you have comments that you'd like to share, please put them in the box below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did this work for you? Thank you all for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Never give up, never stop dancing. My name is Georgia. You're watching Ballerina Badass. I love you all. Toy, toy, toy. <laughs>